In this video, we're going to talk about how to make sure that Visual Studio is connected up to Unity so that you can begin programming in C Sharp in your Unity projects. Now, by default, when you first install Unity through the Unity Hub, Visual Studio should actually be installed alongside it. However, if you need to download Visual Studio, I have included the URL with this YouTube video to download everything that you need. Notice that there is a specific Visual Studio community for Mac and then just the Windows version as well. One thing I want folks to be careful on though is please be careful as far as Visual Studio Code. This is a more lightweight version that while you can do some gutting and re-editing to get it to function correctly, Unity works much better with the Visual Studio community, especially if you are just beginning not only programming, but also using C Sharp inside of Unity. So in this video, we're going to focus on the Visual Studio community. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a new project. So in my case, I'm going to call this project maybe Visual Studio Check. You could use a different project name, and I'm going to leave this as a 3D template. However, the goal of this demonstration is for you to be able to have a process that you can double check to make sure that when you make a C Sharp file inside of Unity, that it is hooking up correctly. So Unity will go ahead and it will generate your project for you. Now, by default, no scripts are actually created for you out of the gate. It is your responsibility as a developer that you are going to create your C-sharp files. C-sharp files end with a .cs file extension. Now, you could technically go into Visual Studio without going into Unity and make your different files. However, a word of caution on that. Visual Studio, when you're creating C-sharp files that aren't specific to Unity, can look a little bit different you're going to have to remember as far as what type of packages and how and what type of methods you are going to need to work in Unity. So if you are just starting out as far as creating c -sharp files in Unity, I strongly encourage you, make the files through Unity and then open them in Visual Studio. So to begin, by default, in a blank project, you're only going to have an Assets folder and you're going to have your Scenes folder in here. In previous videos, I've talked about organizing all of your assets. Again, this is no different for me. In my assets area, where I have the scenes folder, I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to create. And at the very, very top here, before I even choose C Sharp script, I'm going to choose a folder and I'm going to name this scripts. You could also call this code, uh, code elements, etc but something descriptive where we're going to store all of our c -sharp files. I'm going to go ahead and double click on scripts. And now in this folder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and create a c -sharp script. And for this, I'm going to do our standard hello world. Now, a couple of things to point out. When you're working with c -sharp, you are going to be working with an overall class, which is why you want to be very careful in the naming of your file here. Once you name this file, that file's name is going to become your primary class's name. If you want to change this as at a later point in time, you can. However, you're going to have to remember to either change the file name or change the class name. For this demonstration, this is going to be fine. The big goal here is that we want to go through, create an update, apply it to an object in the scene, and then make sure that it runs correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and click away. Now, whenever you're working with a C sharp file, notice that you do get the sharp symbol here, but also I'd like to show you over in the inspector panel, what's happening. You're actually able to preview the code that is contained inside of your file. Note, however, you're just previewing and looking at the code. You're not actually able to go in and edit anything. To edit, we're going to have to open Visual Studio. However, it's important to notice here that as far as the overall file, notice all of the work that Unity does for you creating the C Sharp file for you. And again, as I mentioned earlier regarding the class name, notice how public class Hello World syncs up to the file name. 
So to change this, I'm going to go ahead and double click. And by default, you're going to already have the connection to the C Sharp file that will open to Visual Studio. And now, if I go ahead and just minimize and just kind of shrink this for a second, you can now see over on the side here, what I'm actually seeing as far as my preview, I can now see in Visual Studio, and I can come in and edit this. For this sake, we're just going to start with the void start method. This means that this will run when the scene loads, before any of the frames are updated. Now, the only thing that I want to do is I want to do a log output to the console and just say hello world. This will make sure that number one, we are able to save, then link our file up to our, an object in our scene. We've actually already passed the first step here. By double clicking on the hello world file that we generated in Unity, and the fact that it opened in Visual Studio means that our connection to Visual Studio is running. So now you're really ready to go as far as writing codes. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to type the following. I'm gonna type debug log, and then I'm going to type hello world. A few quick things to note, notice the capitalizations that I used, and then also notice the semicolon. At this point, I can go ahead and do file save or hit the save icon to save my file. And then you might have it think for a second here. Now, yes, it saved my CS file, but notice if I'm comparing it to the inspector over here, it has not refreshed in Unity yet. To refresh it in Unity, you just have to click back. It's going to think for a second. And now if you notice in my inspector window, you can now see my new line that I assigned. Now the last step to make sure that everything is running smoothly regarding the combination of Visual Studio and Unity is to actually attach my c -sharp file to an object in my scene. For right now, we're going to keep it simple. I'm actually going to click and drag and place this Hello World script directly onto the main camera of the scene. To do this, I'm going to click and hold. I'm going to drag up into the hierarchy and you see how it highlights main camera for me. I'm going to let go. Now if I actually come in and look at the inspector for the main camera, and if you scroll down, notice down at the bottom now, I have the script attached to Hel for the Hello World. You want to make sure that this stays checked. This means that it will run. And now if I hit play, Nothing will look like it happens. However, down at the bottom here, you can see the output. And even if you click on your console window, there you can see that it output Hello World. This means that we have gone through the entire workflow correctly of creating a C-sharp file, editing it in Visual Studio, saving it, and then applying it to an object in a Unity scene.